Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. We, I'm going to get, get the, uh, the hole board and drill the two holes. And I brought this into work. We're over here on the board mill. I, I brought it in because I was kind of running out of time. I need to go ahead and get some more of this done. So today I'm going to get this hole board and the holes, two holes drilled. And then hopefully this evening when I go home, we're going to do the last stop on the K&T, which is going to be slotting it right here. Okay. So I've been figuring out my center hole location, which is going to be 5.593 from the edge to the center. And then we've got a 2 and 13 16 diameter hole to bore for that to press in. And then these are two half inch holes on a 3 and 1 8 center to center. So we'll go do those three things in the mill right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to drill these holes and I'm going to put a center here and then we'll drill and bore it over in the lathe. All right, there's our center. Let's find the edge on the end. Move over 100. Go ahead and reset it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, center hole first. 5.593 our center for the bearing. I'm going to move the digital meat out and move the table on back uh, to an inch and a quarter. That's going to be our distance for these holes from the edge, inch and a quarter in. Alright, and then our center is um, 3 and 1 8. So it's going to be inch and a half plus a sixteenth. One and nine sixteenths per side. One inch five sixty two. Okay. Uh, let me go get some oil. Alrighty, here we go. I'm just gonna do a. We're just gonna center drill it and then drill it. to move this parallel over because that, that hole will come through and hit it.
Alright, so now we're going to go set it up in the lathe and get this uh, trued up here. Alright, we got the jaws already set about where I want them. And we're going to do some indicating. This has got to get it squared up. bottom out just a little bit so that it's easier to bump this one in because this one will be up against the jaw here. Alright, so we got that snug. And I'm going to go ahead and I need to go get the uh, copper. I'm going to put some copper in here. All right, got some of my copper here. All right, we're gonna put some here. Put some here. just so that it can move around good okay Right there at the top, about 80.
You see it's kind of in between the two jaws there. Try not to go too far because then you got to back it back out. doing much are you <laughs> it's like it just stopped moving I think it's getting squared up on the back here and it's not wanting to go back any further. All right, that's getting two, three. We're gonna leave it there for now and then we're gonna do the center. We're going to indicate this between centers here. I'm going to stick that in. Check our face. Okay. That's within four. So I'm going to leave that alone. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Let's see. That's going to be pretty tight, so I got them jaws tight. We're going to leave that. But that'll be perfectly okay. We got a self-aligning bearing that goes in there. All right, so let's go ahead and get it drilled and bored. I'm going to run it kind of slow just to avoid the, uh, the out of balance and where I won't have to put some counterweights on there. Uh, I got it at 240. That's the fastest I'll run it. And then from there, we'll slow it down, and I'll probably just use a high-speed tool bit, keep the RPMs down, and, and whenever I go to bore it out. Freaking oil can is always empty, man.
I got my Alors, uh, Alors boring bar set up with a tool bit, tip breaker tool. And I drilled it to two inches and we're gonna bore it out to two inch 812, all right? I'm just gonna make like an eighth of inch of pass. Kick that feed rate up some and try to help break that chip over. It still tries to string a little, but then it'll break it over some. That's still all right though. Low and slow. about to take our we're about to take our last roughing pass so we're at two and five eighths right now we're gonna bring it out to two and three quarter and then we'll uh, start making our finish cuts <clears throat> rolling that chip over nice now. Okay, it's uh, still pretty warm. What I wanna do is get a measurement and just see where I'm at. And I'm gonna let it cool, it's about lunchtime. I'm gonna go eat my lunch and then come back I'll bring it to size, so uh, 755, 2.755 is where I'm at, I gotta go to 812, alright, so we got about, what, 55, 6, 57, um, alright, we'll be back, alright, we're gonna go ahead and start making our finished passes through there, we got her, it's nice and cooled down, so we're gonna speed it up, slow the feed rate down, Okay, we want it 2 inch 812, we're gonna see what we're at now. Yeah. 791. Is there any reason this is offset? Can that be in the middle or? That's the way it's always been made, man. Okay. I don't know why, but we've always maintained that, that dimension like it is. Okay. Yep. I'm assuming that's probably flopping out in the wind and it doesn't matter. Okay, so I got approximately 21 to come out. I'll make a 10 thousandths cut, measure it, and then we'll make a finished cut.
Okay. Finish cut time. We've got a nice finish in there. It's nice and smooth. Those tool bits do good whenever you got them honed correctly. Uh, good finish in there. Okay, we need 11 thousandths. So that took exactly 10, we need 11. I'm gonna do a double check here. Yep. We're 801, we want 812. So we need to uh, do a chamfer on it now. I'm going to swap out this tool bit. Go in with my chamfering tool bit. And we'll bring you in there closer. I had to go fishing for that one. All right, guys. One more op. That's going to be the split. Right across here. So I'll see you at the K&T mill.